This video is part of the series on the Control 101 MATLAB Toolbox. Here we're going to look at how do you download the toolbox. So the community has agreed on the outline structure for Control 101 course and the focus is things like why is feedback important and how can I experience the efficacy of different design choices on multiple engineering systems and indeed non-engineering systems. A MATLAB toolbox is being developed to support such a course and the reason is because MATLAB tools enable visualization and also support tedious number crunching requirements so students can focus on core concepts. This video focuses on how to download the toolbox. So the toolbox is named Control 101 and this is to emphasize the fact that the main role of the toolbox is to support introductory control and feedback courses. Toolboxes can be found under the add-ons button in the main MATLAB window and you can see that's pointed to here. So you select add-ons and then you will see this drop-down menu opens and you'll notice a get add-ons option. When you select get add-ons another window will open and Basically, you put the search term Control 101, you'll see without a space, in there, and the Control 101 toolbox option will appear, as you will see here. So you select that, and then this window will open, and once you've opened that window, you'll see that nice blue button which says Add, and you just press Add. And the toolbox will install, and it takes about a minute, sometimes quicker. And once it's installed, this window will open so you can see it's installed and it shows you the toolbox and it also shows you lots of the virtual labs that have been installed. You don't need to worry too much about this window, um, but you can access it later if you want it. Now, once you've done that, if you go to the Apps tab within MATLAB, and you see that's pointed at the top, then you'll see a lot of the apps that are in this toolbox will appear under My Apps. So you can see lots here, aeroplane landing, aeroplane roll control, car model and behavior, and so on. And indeed, to run them, you just press those icons and they will run. When you first download the toolbox, this file gettingstarted.mlx will open automatically, and that has a certain amount of introductory guidance that you may wish to read. If you come back later, so on a different day, you'll see in this window here you can just type doc control 101 toolbox in the command window and that will open um, documentation more generally. But there's more on this in the next video, not for this video. So let's do a live demonstration. So what I need to do is try and find my MATLAB window. There it is. So there's my MATLAB window. So I'll go through those steps. You see, I go to add-ons, select get add-ons, and then it's opening in a different um, screen. So I'm going to bring it across for you. It's opened in this screen here. So in the search tab, I just put control 101. It should appear. Now, that's interesting. Why has that not appeared? Oh, there it is. So Control 101 has appeared, and um, there should be a newer version, but um, that's not fully doing yet. So I'm going to select Control 101, and then you see there's this Add button. So I just press Add. And now it's going to go through the process of downloading it. It's usually a bit quicker than this. It's quite unusual. Well, there we go. So there, it's done. So it still was less than a minute, wasn't it? So press close. And now you see it's opening the getting started .mlx, um, just in case you wanted to see that. But we don't really need that. Um, and now, if I go to the Apps tab, and scroll down, there you are. You can see lots of the um, virtual labs have been downloaded. 
OK, so conclusions. We've demonstrated how to find and download the Control 101 toolbox. The toolbox is being added to gradually, so you may wish to update the download periodically to access the most recent files and updates. The source files are also available on the author's website and MountLab File Exchange, but there are many aspects that don't work so well if you do that, so I would always recommend download the toolbox properly and things will work better.